Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Katie. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Katie! Thank you so much. This is amazing. We have never had a podcast start this way. Do you want to blow out your candle, by the way? I have too many wishes. It might take a little while. No, no, no. no. Just like <laughs> manifest them all together and go. Yeah. She's thinking. Yes. <laughs> Katie Bolinets, uh, thank you so much for joining the Tennis Culture Podcast. Welcome to Canberra. You just had a hit this morning. Um, how are we feeling? You, you landed in Australia a couple of days ago. How's the body feeling? How are you hitting it? You looking forward to the summer of tennis down here? Yeah, I feel well and I'm really ready for tournaments to start. I feel like I've been practicing for a while now, so... I'm just super excited to start competition again. Yeah. Do you, do you, you had a little bit of a break over Christmas or did you sort of just a day or two, eat a bit of ham, you know, you know, feel a bit lethargic and then straight back into it or? I played my last match on October 31st. No way. Yeah. yeah I had a wrist injury. Oh. So it wasn't that bad, but I had to take a full month off and then I started. Oh. I know that I was a itching to play A month is an eternity, again. isn't it? Yeah. Oh. I was itching to play again, and then I had a full preseason, like five weeks of hard fitness and tennis, and now I'm healthy and ready to go. Feeling good. Yeah. Feeling good. Nice. Love it. Love it. Best smile on the tour so far, I reckon. Yeah. Like, how happy is she? All the time. I am happy. Love it. Love it. What is your birthday as well? And it's a new year. So, New Year's celebration. Interesting thing, though, you didn't start the American way. You didn't go through the college system. We were talking about this, like, the whole college route. Yeah. It didn't happen for you because you were going to go, but then something happened. Yeah, I wasn't committed anywhere or yeah. anything like that, but I was considering college really strongly my entire junior career. Yeah, uh, That was kind of the route that my parents and I thought about. Tennis was a hobby until I was like 14 or 15, and then I realized I really want to go into the professional world. And once I played the woman's equivalent of Kalamazoo, which is Billie Jean King Cup, yeah. or not Cup, but Billie Jean King Nationals, Yeah, I won that one and got a wild card and played Bianca Andreescu first round and played all the competition that week, practicing with top 100 players. And then I was certain that I wanted to turn pro. You felt like you belonged, didn't you? Yeah. That would have been the, like, the best introduction to, to becoming a pro. What was that like, stepping on court, going against Bianca? Because, I mean, Bianca was like, I feel like that she was hitting straps at that time. That, that 2019? year she was playing well. Yeah. yeah. And she obviously went on to win – uh, the tournament. So I, I, we joked about this off camera, but like, obviously, if you didn't play Bianca, you would have won the tournament at seventeen. Like, so yeah, really, totally. a good totally. deep run, hundred yeah. percent, deep 100%. run all the way. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to us about that first match. How how were you leading into that match? I had actually played her once earlier that year. I think in the Newport Beach Challenger, or maybe that was the year prior. But she had won that tournament also. Um, so <laughs> Damn you, Bianca. <laughs> Bianca. She's always in the way. She will never be on this podcast. I'm Team Katie all the way. <laughs> and the extra surprise for your birthday is Bianca is here. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> just Lock the door. Um, but I always enjoyed playing her, and I knew it would be a good match. And it was an awesome introduction, obviously. I didn't expect her to win the entire tournament after yeah. beating me, but it was, I think it was something like 6 3, 6 4, and I felt really competitive with her. And it was I was seventeen years old, so that was a really cool introduction. Yeah, it would have would have been incredible. And um, you are a California girl. Um, your parents from the Ukraine. Uh, you, you're born, raised, still live in California. Got those hometown, you know, ties, which is really cool. We yeah. we're big fans of obviously Canberra. We're from here. We we coach here. We've lived here. We also lived over in the states for. Well, you lived there for like ten years. Ten years, yeah. Really, I, where I, at? I was in I was in Miami. For okay. about four, and then I was like Northern Cal, Northern Cal, California. Really? Yeah. Where, where were yeah. you in Northern Cal? Uh, Northern Cal was Tracy, Vacaville, um, a little south of Stockton, kind of in the Sacramento. Everywhere around me. Yeah, they bounced me around quite a bit because yeah. I, I did the season in the Hamptons. I went to the Hamptons. Oh wow! Yeah, oh, it yeah. must be nice. Well, I was I was a slave, you know, like a tennis slave, so as you do. Um, but yeah, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. We loved America. Well, yeah, I I lived in Texas for three years mm. and and loved it there. But we we really think that the way the Americans do it over there, the way they train, the way they play, it's just different to to what I've seen anywhere else. Talk to us a little bit about. 
the way you train? Have you got kind of like a set schedule? You got a team around you? What's what's like a day in the life of Katie Trainer? Um, I think a lot of things have actually changed going into this year. I have a new team. I really believe in consistency, but sometimes things happen and you have to change the team or change the setup. Um, so I was away from home for a while, like training in Georgia for a year or so. But now I'm really happy to be back training in California and I have a good setup and a good team behind me, which always feels really good and helps the overall happiness and competing factor of tournaments. Oh, 100%. And so what is it about Cali? I mean, you've come to Canberra, you've come to our town. Uh, you know, if, if if we were to recommend some things, we would recommend some certain cafes and, you know, some nice... Osdell ones. Street Roasters. Yeah, mm. um, great coffee. Say we come to your town, you know, because I'm sure we're, we're invited, we're friends now, so we're probably yeah. invited yeah. next time yeah. we're over there. Definitely. Where would you take, say you've got a day to show us around town? Walnut Creek. Where are we going? Walnut Creek downtown, 100%. Yes. So what's down, talk, talk to us. Yeah. What, what, what's so special about downtown? It's just so cute and so <laughs> new. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I love it. I don't need any more. I want to go cute. now. Yeah. Can we go now? Let's, let's forget this place and go. Walnut Creek. Yeah, I played some tournaments in Florida, and people are like, oh, you're from Walnut Creek. The shopping there is excellent. My really? Oh. And I went, and I found, like, older, not older, but some ladies okay. telling me You can me say it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> she's staring well, at me then. while she says that. That's fair enough. I understand. <laughs> no, but I, there were some couples that were telling me, Oh, we love Walnut Creek. We went shopping there, and I I didn't even realize that it was known for that, but it is really, really nice. It's like a national treasure, uh, Walnut yes. Creek shopping. Okay, Walnut Creek. It's a little hidden gem. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got to make our way to Walnut Absolutely. Creek. It's yeah. hard to live anywhere else, though, after growing up there. Yeah. It just feels so much like home. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Does Canberra have a, a good sort of vibe to it? Because obviously it's all about a vibe of a place, yeah. right? So Walnut Creek has a sounds like it has a great vibe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to go. How's Canberra's vibe? Like you've been here since what Thursday? Since Thursday. Yeah. yeah Thursday How's morning. Canberra's vibe so far? It's good. I yeah. like Australia in general. Yeah. No. Nice. Good. Good answer, yeah. Katie. Well so played. Far, well so played. far, no city in Australia has disappointed me. So. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Um, we got to talk about. It. You probably get this all the time, but being tennis and your surname, right? Surely people have gone like, well, it was destined to happen. Is it an American thing? Because you got tennis Sangren. As well, some people think it's fake, but it's just yeah, heritage. Yeah, because yeah. so that's the first thing that popped up in the US Open draw when we saw it. We're like, Volley Nets, Nelson, she's a Sir Volley, surely. <laughs> and I'm like, No, she's gonna break my heart because mm. I'm a Sir Volley. I'm mm. like, I don't know if she's gonna be. So, uh, the, I'm not, a yeah, player, yeah, so no. I, that's what I said. I probably better for you, actually. Break me, break my heart. <laughs> um, but I'm sure you get that all, all the time. So, I was gonna ask you if you were to give a tennis player the ultimate tennis name, what, what would you give them? A tennis who? Okay. So it's say <laughs> that's the accent. He does this to me all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Weird questions. I love it though. Okay, so we think you've got the best tennis name there is, right? Yeah. No, Katie Volley Nets. Come on, like it's, really. it's top notch. It's close. It's top notch. Closely followed by Tennis Sangren, who's another American. Yeah, Katie's so much nicer. Right? It is so much nicer. Mm. It's yeah. um, but if you were to give somebody a name, a surname that was seen as the ultimate tennis name. So like uh. John Return of Surf. That's horrible, by the way. Do not say that. <laughs> so all I could think of wasn't great, but that's what I threw on the table. What, what would you give to someone? What do we think would be a cool name? You see him in the drawer like, oh my God, I need to watch them play now. Mm. What do you think? I'm so biased. I think it's hard to be, uh, hard to beat Volley Nuts. It is hard to beat. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It is. What's your middle name? Andrea. Oh. After my dad. <laughs> if you were going to say probably, kick serve, I would have lost my mind. You probably kick thought it would be nets. like over the volley. <laughs> <laughs> volley over the nets. <laughs> Katie volley over the nets. Um, <laughs> what What are some things that uh, you want to do while you're here in Australia? Obviously, you want to compete well. You want to play Kicks well. But butt. Yeah. outside the tennis circles, is there anything you want to do while you're down here? I don't know. I don't really... Spend that much time outside of the tennis court in the yeah. hotel during tournaments. Yeah. And I'm kind of happy that way, really. I just like to practice, Focus. do some fitness. Yeah. You love to play, don't you? I, I love to play. Yeah, you love yeah. to play. Kate, wow. she's passing every test right now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, yeah, this is good. Uh, I've actually got a question. You just said you recently changed your team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so who was your who was your old coach? Or the, the well, no, who's, who's your new coach? Yeah. My new coach is Alejandro Dulco. Oh. 
Where, where, where's he? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I oh. saw him down the down the cafe before. Um, so where's he from? He's from Argentina. Ah, so he's teaching you the topspin. Oh, that was a bad accent. I'm so no, sorry. No, not really. We. What I like about him is that we look at my game and what I'm good at, and then we're improving each part of oh. my game and kind of using my strengths rather than, you know, not changing anything drastically, just adjusting things in a good way. Okay, nice. And obviously goal setting a big thing for you. You seem very goal driven. Hit us up with a couple of goals. What would you love to achieve in, say, the next five to ten years on the tennis circuit? I want to win multiple Grand Slams nice. and be number one in the world. Don't accept anything less, Kate. I love, love that. Yes. I got a question for you. And do not do not feel like you're going to hurt our feelings. You will not hurt our feelings. Uh-oh. No, no, no. If you were to rank in order the Grand Slams, so you were like, Ooh. okay, I would love to win this That's one first, question. then that one would be the next best, then the third, then the fourth. Hit me up with what would be one, two, three, and four. That is so hard because I have a reason for every slam. Well, hey, we, oh. we, we, we got time. Let's go. What for do we example, got? right now, number one would be Australian Open. Because <laughs> it's first. Yeah, because I had the best result there so far. Yeah. And I really love playing there. Mm. Um, then I think US Open. Hometown. Yeah. Of course. American. Yeah. You yeah. have to. Yeah. Fair call. Yeah. And then. This is a tricky one. I don't think so. No, it's not. It is tricky. No. It, okay. I th- yeah, yeah, it is. I'm going to purposely pick the wrong answer. <laughs> 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 I like Katie. She's on fire. She's on, we're in sync here. Annoying this guy. Got it. Yeah. Katie, come on, come on. You know what? You want you, me to pick Wimbledon. I think you should pick <laughs> Wimbledon. <laughs> but I, I'll pick Wimbledon because I think it's more challenging for me than playing on clay. Playing on grass is... I've more spent the least time on grass, I think. So Okay, okay. And then the French is last. Yeah. Because no one likes clay. But in all honesty, I'll take any of the four first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Another question. This was brought to Sisypas a little while ago. Mm. Um, and he got asked the question. He said, someone said to him, would you rather be world number one or win or never be world number one, but you win one Grand Slam? Uh, what, what would you mm. see as the, the higher achievement? I would say winning a Grand Slam. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I think so too. Yeah, you can't, yeah, it it yeah. can't be taken away. I mean, not that the number one. Well, actually, it can be taken away from you. The world rank, but no one could take a slam away from you. You play. You're the best player on the planet for those two weeks. No one yeah. can ever take that away. That's pretty cool. That's yeah, true. Yeah, and in that instance, you are number one. When I think about it, when someone wins a Grand Slam that week, for that sure. tournament, you're the best. You mm-hmm. are the greatest, and it's such a big achievement. It's huge. Yeah, so yeah. cool, so cool. Mm-hmm. Katie, we're going to start wrap things up. Thanks so much for your for your time today. You we know you're busy. We know you've got a crazy schedule coming up. We wish you the best Thank coming you. into the Australian summer. Um, now, something that we wanted to do this this season. So last year we had a lot of po- uh, people on the podcast. We had Katie Bolter. We had um, yeah, JP Harris. We wanted to give anyone who came onto the podcast a gift just to say Aww. thank you for coming on. Now, 2024 is literally tomorrow, mm-hmm. okay, and you would know your birthday's on, you know, New Year's Eve every year, mm-hmm. and you seem like someone who's very organised. You, you're a planner, but you can't plan unless you've got a calendar. You're so right. So we have a selection of calendars we would like you to take. So, please, Rez, can you show the first? Okay, we're going to go one by one. Could you read them out for us as I bring them out? Here's number one. Canberra, capital of Australia. A beautiful, okay. it's got, we, it, for those I like at the home, hot air we've got hot air balloons going over Lake Burley Griffin. Um, Rez, next one. Australian pubs. Australian pubs. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's leading. She did not bat an eyelid. Okay, that pubs. Not as a, <laughs> but pubs I think it might be overtaken by this one <clears throat> teapot, the collectible teapot. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay. Save it for now. Saving yeah, that one yeah. for now. Save that one for now. Good this option. is a strong one. This is a strong one. Yoga dogs. How can you beat that? I have a mini golden doodle and I love dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we... Oh, my God. Well, there, there's only one left. we only got one left and uh, I don't think it's going to beat it. Yet. Yeah, that one there. Um, a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, I don't have a younger sister. Or anything. I thought she was going to say, unfortunately, I don't have a, a unicorn. unicorn. So <laughs> I won't pick it. Like some of the people I know. Uh, <laughs> okay, take your pick. Which calendar would you like? Um, It's between the, let's see. It's between the teapot, Ooh. the yoga <gasps> dogs, and Canberra, capital of Australia. Okay, well, I hey. wish I could peek in the inside, but that's a surprise. The, the, on the back, it has you, a little you, preview. You can have a little peek on, preview on, the, on the back. Yeah. Yeah. Very intricate. I feel like the, the Canberra one is more colourful. 
Check out the camera. Not, I mean, not this one. I think this one's more wow. British than Australian. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely not Australian. You, you know, look, it was on sale. I, it was, it was, it was seven dollars. still technically a monarchy <laughs> yeah. to some degree. Well, so let's we've, check out the dog. Yeah, let's go to Yoga Dog. If there's a on here, then, then that's it's game on, over. It's on. Yeah. I'm a bit upset. I don't see any golden doodles. Oh. I'm going to write to this calendar company and be like, <laughs> this is an outrage. Yes. It's an awesome calendar, though. Let's see the last one. The last one. We, uh, yeah. Yeah. You know what I like about Katie? She doesn't rush into decisions. No, it takes her time. Takes her time. Patience. Yeah, this is That's great. how you win. This one's beautiful, and it's so Australian, so I'll take this one. We're taking yes, the camera, camera, camera okay. calendar. Uh, Katie Volanets, thank you so much again for joining the podcast. Thanks for being so cool, so upbeat. We are definitely going to the cute town of <laughs> Walnut Creek. Walnut Creek. You Next should. time we go California. there. California. Absolutely. I'll Do take you guys sightseeing. <gasps> yes. Yes. <laughs> We've got it on record. Yeah. It's on record. <laughs> I'm so excited. Can't take it back now. No. I, I want to go there now. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, thank you so much for listening to the podcast. This has been Katie, Nelson, and Rez from the Tennis Culture Podcast. Podcast signing out. Yeah, she didn't know to do uh, that. Yeah, no, yeah. I was just hoping we had a thing going. Yeah, we had a thing going. It might have been lost. I made eye contact at the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Katie, that was so much that fun. Was Thank awesome. you. That was awesome. Thank you for the last one invitation. Really yeah, no, we really appreciate that.